Good evening. Welcome to the Canterbury Report. Day 34 here at the Downs. Chaucer Cup, Northland's Futurity. Quarter Horses versus the Thoroughbreds. We've got all kinds of action for you. Here's the first race of the day now. Opening race on this beautiful Sunday afternoon card. Flamers here. Quarter Horses going 350 yards. Y'all's Baby comes from the rail here with Jerry Rodriguez. My selection, Hustlin' Wheel out of the three-hole with the Winkle Boys. Call me Kidamon. 60 to 1 in here, but this horse definitely has a shot to win it. Doll Lucky from the outside here with Joey Castro. Here they come in the opener. They're on. From between horses, Orlando's Mr. Ed for the lead. Cash Cavalier is next on the inside, is Hustling Wheel. Y'all's baby down at the rail. Orlando's Mr. Ed has the lead with Cash Cavalier, Orlando's Mr. Ed. Seven horse gets under the wire, the winner here. Orlando's Mr. Ed, Charles O'Kelly, 880, 580, and 420. The five horse runs second. Cash Cavalier, Jimmy Hunt for Tommy Winkle, 820 and $8. And the four horse, He's Divine, Eddie Cervantes, $11.60 on the bottom. Second race on the card today on the turf, seven and a half furlongs, allowance company here. Leo Maker goes from the rail for Vicki Warhol. Cheese Wish, winner of a maiden race last time out, bet down to four to five here. My uh, selection, Yamogacho at eight to one, and Tantha, Princess Leloy, were the outsiders here. Load them up. Let him rip, race two. They're on. Miss Manassas gets the early lead. Cheese Wish. Now from the outside, Rena Ferd and Tantha. Leo Maker is next as they go into the first turn. Miss Manassas at the rail has the lead on the outside. Tantha is next. Cheese Wish in third. And Rena Fared next racing in fourth. Goldian's Doctor up fifth on the outside. Leo Maker is back to sixth. And Princess Liloy is seventh. Yamo Gaucho in eighth. Gorgeous Threat is ninth. And Mary Mercedes is tenth. Down the back straight, Miss Manassas leads it by a half. Cheese Wish right alongside in second. A gap of three now. Goldian's Doctor up on the outside in third. Rena Ferd is fourth, and Princess Liloy now gains ground on the outside. Leo Maker next at the rail. It's Miss Manassas with the lead. Cheese Wish is next, then Goldian's Doctor. Rena Ferd and down the straight now. On the outside, Cheese Wish. Miss Manassas is next. At the rail, Leo Maker gains on the outside. Now Mary Mercedes, then Princess Leloy. Leo Maker gets through at the rail, and Princess Leloy comes on. Leo Maker gets under the wire. The winner here, time of the race, 1.31 and 2 for the seven and a half furlongs on the turf. The one horse, Leo Maker, 53, 20, 29, 40, and 11, 20. The 10 horse Princess Leloy with Rodney Trader aboard returns 13, 20, 660. The six horse Mary Mercedes Danny Delahosey runs third in here, returns $5.60 to show. Daily double today, the number is 71. Should have bet my age. Orlando's Mr. Ed in the first race with Leo Maker in the second race returns $352.80. Exact in the second race, the numbers 1 and 10, Leo Maker, written by Vicki Warhol, and Princess Leloy returns $540.20, and we'll be right back after this word from the boys. Race on the car today. Going to go 870 yards here. Hook race round the corner. Bug Star comes from the rail here. Flavio Martinez aboard. I took Christie's victory with Bobby Pledge. And Uproar Jet comes from the outside. Here they come in the third. They're all in line. They're off. 
Christy Victory gets the early lead. Danson Cassie now moves up. And pass and cash on the outside. Christy Victory at the rail. Drift in ruler is next. It's Danson Cassie with the lead. Pass and cash on the outside. Christy Victory on the inside. And turning for home now. Danson Cassie. Christy Victory on the inside. Pass and cash is next. At the 16th pole on the inside is Christy Victory on the outside. Pass and cash coming on. Those two. Under the wire, the winner here, the two horse. Christie's victory, Bobby Pledge for Connie Barnes. 10 60 5 20 and $4. Nine horse run second, pass and cash. Jerry Rodriguez for Tommy Winkle. That's a long way to go from the nine hole. $6 and four sixty and a five horse. Dancing Cassie, Eddie Cervantes for Jerry Roselle. $7.80 in the bottom. 29 exacta. Christie's victory. Pass in cash, $73.80. and Kick off of the pick six here. Maidens go six furlongs. From the three hole, tell a star. Yeah, you ought to do that. Mike Smith, six to one. Lucky and proud, seven to two. Danny Della hosts the aboard. I took the easy way out. Play the float with Dino. Even money out of the 11 hole. Here they come. Kick off of the six. They're on. On the inside, Lucky and Proud gets the lead. Jima's girl into second. Jim's halo is next and play the float on the outside point. A gap of two. Gold Metallic is fifth by a head pocket of emptiness is sixth and Smooth Irish Miss seventh at the rail. Telestar is eighth. Fenright ninth. Speedy Dynamite and Maiden Rock. Rounding the far turn, Lucky and Proud has the lead by I half. Play the float. Right there on the outside, Jima's girl is next. And Jim's halo at the rail. Top of the stretch now. Play the float on the outside, Lucky and Proud. On the inside, a gap of two and a half to Jim's halo. Jima's girl is fourth. Then gold metallic by the eighth pole. Play the float. By two. Lucky and proud at the rail. Five lengths back, Jim Zalo. Play the float in front. Play the float gets under the wire with Dino aboard. Time of the race. One, twelve, and two. The mutuals. Play the float. The favorite in here. 420, 360, and 280. The nine horse gold metallic. Chris Valovich for Judy Conger, 740, 420. Lucky and Proud, third. Danny Delahosi aboard, $3.60 on the bottom. Fifth event of the afternoon here. Easy Jet Stakes, $10,000 added. Quarter horses. Going to go 350 yards for you. Pay tribute, my selection, 6 to 1. Marty Leach out of the three hole. The one they had to beat in here, though, was the horse that came from the outside. One easy move with Danny Cardoza at four to one. Keep a close watch on the start. Load him up, let him rip, race five. They're on. From the outside, Orlando Barr. Now classy comment moves up on the inside is Fonda Brown. Classy Comment has the lead. Fonda Brown on the inside. Pay tribute on the outside is Orlando Barr and flashing the cash. Under the wire here, the winner of the 10 horse, Orlando Barr. Charles O'Kelly for Tom Olive. Returning 2460, 960, and 480. The nine horse flashing the cash, Jimmy Hunt. 940 and 560. And the five horse, Classy Comment, Mikey Burgess. $3.40 in the bottom. 10.9 exacto. Orlando Bar flashing the cash. $224.80. Sixth event of the afternoon. Allowance company here. Six furlongs. Kerplop from the rail. Donna Barton, six to one. Double pie was the one they had to beat. Chris Valovich out of the two hole. First Lasix. 
can they handle the chalk here? Load them up, let them rip, race six. They're all in line. They're on. That's classy for the lead. Passion for fashion on the outside. Biffy Babe now moves up and double pie is fourth. Kerplop, fifth at the rail. Jan Eagle is sixth by a half.
Lassie is next, Biffy Babe, third ahead, double pie in fourth. And Jan Eagle inches up fifth on the outside. Four lengths back to Kerplop, Dusky Maiden on the outside, and Majestic Legend. It's passion for fashion. On top by two, that's classy is next. Jan Eagle on the outside, and they're in the stretch. Passion for fashion has the lead. Jan Eagle gains in second, double pie on the outside. That's classy is next. Going to the 16th pole, here comes double pie. Passion for fashion, down at the rail, can't hold off the challenge. Double pie in front. Giant Bunny Rabbit on the outside there. Double pie. Chris Valovich, the L1. One, 10 and one for the L1. The payoffs. Double pie, Chris Valovich. Nice ride in here by Chris. 440, 280, 240. The eight horse. Passion for fashion. Dean Coots. 340 and 280 in the seven horse. Jan Eagle, who won here last week handily. Flavio Martinez aboard at a little bit higher level here today. $3. 20 cents in the bottom, 28 exacta, double pay passion for fashion, 1560. Seventh event of the afternoon, allowance company here, and we had some good ones going at it. Six and a half furlongs, same distance as the big race today. Sharp exchange at three to five was a one to beat. Fierce Hawk came from the outside with Garth Patterson, who rides down in Arkansas, and uh, this guy can flat out get it done. Let's see what he does against the local boys here in race seven. They're all in line, they're on. Sharp exchange, slow from the gate on the outside. Tradesmen for the lead, Renumeration. On the inside has moved up and prominent position moves through. Prominent position takes over the lead. Renumeration is next, Tradesman third and Sharp exchange has been hustled up along the inside. Fierce Hawk. Now fifth on the outside, Shakopee nine is sixth. A gap of some seven lengths back to the other two coming at you and reason to journey. Round the far turn, prominent position, sharp exchange up on the inside. Tradesmen on the outside in third and Fierce Hawk is fourth. Renumeration next and then Shakopee nine. Top of the stretch, sharp. Exchange now to lead by two and a half. Fierce Hawk on the outside gains now. Down at the rail, renumeration by the eighth pull. Sharp exchange, but here comes Fierce Hawk on the outside. Renumeration down at the rail. It's Fierce Hawk taking the lead in front. Fierce Hawk under the wire. Garth Patterson comes in and handles the local boys. One, 16 and one, that's pretty good time in here. The eight horse, Fierce Hawk, 13, 20, 540 and 380. Second, Sharp Exchange, race riding, rock and rolling, Ronnie Allen Jr., 280, 240 in the rail horse, remuneration for Mr. John Burwell. Rodney Trader aboard, pays 540 in the bottom. 82 exacta, Fierce Hawk, Sharp Exchange, $34.60. Eighth race is the one that everybody had waited for throughout this meet. Can the Thoroughbreds handle the cues? They're going to go 1,000 yards for you here. Canterbury Jeep Challenge, 1,000 yards. From the inside, Coyote McLeod and the Tennessean, mean competitor at even money. Those were the cues. Now the Thoroughbreds, Ruhanus, Texas Trio, and Friesum all had big shots to win. Carl's Alfredi, another Thoroughbred, came out of the four hole here with Vicki Warhol aboard, try to set the pace. We'll see if she can hold them off. Here they come, cues against the Thoroughbreds. They're on. The Tennessean for the lead. Carl Zelfried hustles up, Coyote McLeod right there at the rail. Mean competitor is fourth. South Seas Dancer on the outside in fifth. Brujenas is next, then comes Friesum. Texas Trio Trails. Carl Zelfried, the thoroughbred. He's out there by two. The Tennessean is next. Mean competitor on the outside. And turning for home. Carl Zelfried has the lead. The Tennessean. 
The quarter horse next on the outside, Mean Competitor coming on now. By the 16th pole, Mean Competitor on the outside, Carl's Elfried on the inside. Mean Competitor is up in time. Under the wire, the winner, Mean Competitor for the second year in a row with the Flav aboard. 420, 380, and 280. The three horse, Carl's Elfred, runs second, Vicki Warhol. 580, 420. And the four horse, Bru Hanus, Rodney Trader, returns $9 on the bottom. 23 exact, a mean competitor to Carl's Elfred. $28.60. And now let's visit with the Flav. Flavio, mean competitor. Eat him up down the stretch here. Tell me a little something about how to race shaped up for you. Well, I expect to be laying third to uh, Tennessean and uh, the Coyote horse, and I, I was really surprised when I seen the little thoroughbred filly out in front. I didn't, I knew she had speed, but I didn't think she had that kind of speed. I didn't think she could top quarter horses, but she did, and it was kind of ironic because everybody ex uh, expected the quarter horses to be setting the pace and the thoroughbreds to come and catch them, and it was kind of vice versa here today. Now, when your horse got in the stretch and eyeballed the Tennessee and Carl's Alfredi was down on the rail, the Tennessee backed off a little bit. This mean competitor got a lot of heart. He, uh, like Mark Holder said earlier, the thoroughbred came out in him. Because he's uh, three quarters thoroughbred. He's only got a quarter quarter horse in him. So it showed in the stretch. And you know, anymore, a lot of these quarter horse people are putting thoroughbred into their quarter horse to give them the stamina to finish in a, the longer races. Fabio, if this race would have been 1,200 yards instead of 1,000 yards, could this horse have gone another 200 yards? I think so, because uh, once I got up to the filly, I didn't ask him to. Nothing was really coming at him, and I did run pretty hard, so I kind of backed off him a little. He was comfortable at the wire, though. He uh, was kind of a big disappointment to a lot of his fans the other day. He should have gone unbeaten here at this meet, but uh, the other day going 870, everybody was thought he was a bolter. He wouldn't make the turns. I heard a few comments about it. But the other day, uh, uh, that uh, horse hour victory or something like that blew the turn, and my horse had full cup blinkers on, and all he could see was the horse that blew the turn, and he went right at Obviously, that we won it a couple times here, but I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure the thoroughbreds will want to get even, and I'm sure they've got a good opportunity to get even. They've got a lot of good horses back here, too, and, and we'll just have to see what happens. I, you know, I'm really excited. The public has such a good time with this race, it seems like. Uh, the handle was really good in that race, I think, and everybody was really excited. There's probably a lot of screaming and yelling. Well, I know I like it. I picked the winner here two years in a row, so it didn't bother me at all. But now let me ask you this. How far are they going to make you run next year now? We've gone from 870 to 1,000. How far next year? 440 yards. I'm pretty confident it'll, we'll have to shorten it up so that we can win it three years in a row for sure here. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations to you and your people. Oh, thank you very much, Dark. You bet. Back to you. Thank you, Dark. Hello. Ed on the card today, we're going seven and a half on the turf here. The Lake Calhoun Stakes, and we had a standout in here. Prophet Island, ridden by Patrick Johnson. He'll go today for Mr. Martin Kenny and Tommy Maxwell. Strictly the one to beat. Here they come in the Calhoun Stakes. They're off. From the outside, luxury lady for the lead, Courageous Angel. Moves with that one. Jan Jack up on the outside down at the rail is special victory as they move into the first turn. Luxury lady on the inside has the lead. Jan Jack up to challenge. Courageous Angel is third, about three off the lead. Two lengths back at the rail, special victory, fourth by a head over Prissy Sutton in fifth. Another two lengths back, River Phantom is sixth, Elvira. Next racing in seventh. Prophet Island on the outside, then a gap of five. Back to Tura, Lura, Lura. Lady Basque is tenth into the far turn now. And into the turn they go. Jen Jack has the lead. Prissy Sutton up on the outside now to challenge. Luxury Lady is next. And Prophet Island is fourth. Special victory on the inside. Then comes River Phantom. There at the head of the straight, Prissy Sutton has the lead now. Luxury Lady, Prophet Island on the outside and down the straight. Prophet Island rallies their special victory coming back on the inside in the final furlong. Special victory gets through. Prophet Island is next and Lady Basque has come from dead last. Special victory. Down the rail, the winner here, the one horse. Time, 1, 30 and 1. The payoffs, 
special victory, Dean Coots, 13.20, and this horse was 72 in the morning line. Six dollars, 3.40 overlooked by this big Chaucer Day crowd. Four horse run second, Lady Basque, Ricky Evans, 14.80, 6.40. He was six to one in the morning line, also unglanced upon by the throng here at the Downs today. The six horse, Prophet Island, the favorite, Pat Johnson, Paid $2.40 to show. In the pick six today, bad news in the six. 11, 10, 28, 21, 65,000 and up in here to shoot at. Six to six goes one time. $53,754.40. Five to six, 59 times, $430.40. Lot of dough up here, folks. Lots of dough. Tenth race on the card today, the Northlands Futurity. Gross first, $110,000, grade three. Talk tough, four to one. Albert Minchie aboard in here. And Tissy Papoos was one of the horses that they had to beat today. The other one was Kin to Cash, two to one out of the eight hole. Load them up, let them rip in the Northlands Futurity. They're off in the Northlands Futurity on the inside. At CC Pop Poose for the lead. Putting on the red. Then comes Talk Tough. Now from the outside, Kin to Cash. Kin to Cash rallies on the outside. On the inside, Talk Tough. Kin to Cash under the wire. The winner here, Henry Garcia. And to ride this one, there he is in the winner's circle. Henry and Kin to Cash. Boom. Here are the payoffs. Kin to Cash, 640, 340, and 260. The two horse. Talk Tough, Albert Minchie for Joe Merrick, $4.280. The Four Horse and Tissy Papoose, Timmy Wartman, $2.40 in the bottom. 8-2, Ken to Cash. Talk Tough, $27.40. Now let's visit with Henry Garcia, the rider of the winner. Today is Northland's Futurity, Ken to Cash. I'm in the winner's circle with Henry Garcia, Ken to Cash. Was it worth the trip in, Henry? Sure was. It was a little big for me today. Tell me about how the race shaped up for you. She looks like she broke real well, and then you had a horse break flat-footed next to you, but your horse got right after it. Yeah, well, she broke in the slow today, you know, slower than she can, but she broke nice and straight, and I went to push him right out of there, and she should run big. Okay. You'd like to ride this horse back? I should have left him. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. And listen, next time you get up to Canterbury, come on in, ride a few races for you. It's, it's great having a national champion like you here. Thank you very much, and I shall be glad to. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. The Chaucer Cup handicap, $150,000 guaranteed here. They're going to go six and a half furlongs for you. Who, Dr. Who, the favorite, had a bunch of good ones going in here. Contact game, last year's winner, Don's Irish Melody. Powerboat, swing and sway, load them up, let them rip in the Chaucer Cup. They're off in the Chaucer Cup. On the outside, swinging sway now. Who, Doctor Who, quickly on as they leave the chute. Don's Irish Melody is next. Power boat on the outside. Down the back stretch they go. Don't fool with me. Who, Doctor Who, and Don's Irish Melody, those three. Ding dong in it for the lead. 21 and 2 was the quarter, and Power Boat is next in fourth. Swinging Sway is fifth on retainer is sixth. Then comes Prospector's Halo and seventh Banker Special. Contact Game, Split Rock, Savings, Energetic King and Recognized is last. Last year's winner, Don's Irish Melody, trying to make it two in a row here and edging away. Who Doctor Who is next? Then comes Power Boat and they turn for home in the Chaucer Cup. Don's Irish Melody, here comes Who Doctor Who. He'll have something to say about the cup in the final furlong. Who Doctor Who hooks the leader now and takes it by a head. Don's Irish Melody on the inside in the final yards. It'll be really close, too close to go. Under the wire, the winner, Don's Irish Melody. Let's take a look at the winner in the winner's circle here, Antonio Castanone aboard, Don's Irish Melody. Beautiful horse. Proud owner, proud jockey. Now, let's take a look at these fractions. 21 and 2, 43 and 1, 
107 flat for six furlongs. For six and a half, they go 114 flat, one fifth of a second off the world record. What a race. Unbelievable. The Mutuals, Don's Irish Melody, beats the doctor today by a nose. 1060, 520, $3. Who, Doctor Who, runs second in here today? 380 and $3. And the seven horse, Banker Special, great ride by Dino here to be third. $5.80 on the bottom. 3 4 exacta, Don's Irish Melody, who? Doctor Who, 22, 20. In the triple today, 183 returns $273.80. And now let's visit with Antonio Castanone and John W. Sadler, the trainer of Don's Irish Melody. We're in the winner circle with John Sandler and Antonio Castanone. Fellas, big win for you today. Thank you very much. You ran a super race. Thank you very much. I hope me real much. And it's a nice horse. Antonio, and maybe you can help us answer this, John. Uh, did the horse give you any problems? Did you have any traffic trouble along the way? Never. Never had trouble. Said he was strong all the way today. He felt good. Yeah. You missed the world record by a fifth of a second. Can this horse go a fifth of a second faster? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. yeah. What are your plans for this horse after today's Chaucer Cup? We're going to take him back to California and then look at the races around the country and decide where to go next. And count the money. You bet. Absolutely. Congratulations to both of you today. Good luck and thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Who Doctor Who runs 114 and a click and gets beat. Unbelievable. Twelfth race on the car today. Claimers go a mile and an eight in the nightcap. Full pull, six to one with Delahosey out of the two hole. India Blue, my selection, five to two, the flob. Nick Santagata off. Chris Valovich on the five horse. Sweet Daddy and French Express comes to me outside with Dean Coots. Load him up, let him rip in the nightcap. All in line. They're on. On the inside, curl out for the early lead. Halogen up on the outside, then comes Sweet Daddy. India Blue moves up as they move to the first turn. Sweet Daddy, a half. And on the inside is a curl out. India Blue. In between horses, then comes Halogen on the outside, and French Express is fifth. Sir Sagamore on the inside, sixth. Proctologist, seventh. Four lengths back, full pull. Followed by Rising Reality. Down the back stretch, Sweet Daddy has the lead by two and a half now. The outside, French Express on to be second at the rail is curl out. Halogen is fourth, the gap of three. Sir Sagamore is fifth. India Blue sixth, four lengths back, full pull is seventh. Rising Reality, then Proctologist. They round the far turn now, Sweet Daddy. Daddy in front two and a half. French Express is next. Curl out in third, a gap of two to Sir Sagamore in fourth. Halogen is next in full pull. They're at the top of the stretch. Sweet Daddy in front by a four. French Express next. Curl out on the inside. Inside the eighth pole, it's Sweet Daddy by four lengths. On the outside, full pull, then French Express and Sir Sagamore. Sweet Daddy in front. Sweet Daddy under the wire for Chrissy V. Time of the race, 1.52 and 1, the Mutuals. Sweet Daddy, 10.80, 3.80, 3.20. Seven horse, Sir Sagamore, Rick Evans for Lewis Brandt. 420, $3. And the two horse, full pull, Danny Delahosey for Wilson Brown, 360 in the bottom, 5-7 exacta. Sweet Daddy, Sir Sagamore, 3220. Well, that wraps up our racing day here at Canterbury, and what a day it's been. $350,000 in purses. Chaucer Cup, Northland Futurity. Quarter horses. How about those quarter horses? 
What are you going to do? We'll be back with you on Wednesday. And don't forget, Canterbury Report, WCCO2, 9 o'clock and 11.35. I'm Dark Star. Thanks for being with us.